This is a few, quite a few days from our last vlog. We've changed apartment now, we're an hour outside of Tokyo. But we ventured in today because we found out that you can actually go inside the Imperial Palace. So as it turns out, the, you need a passport and we didn't read that online. So we left, there's the Grand Palace just there. Um, we're gonna come back another day, but we're gonna go to Shibuya today and maybe do a bit of shopping. I was just showing Lottie like about the dates of like when we think we're gonna go home and she was she felt a bit shit like we've got up early coming she was just annoyed so I was trying to make her feel better and then like I went to show her the dates on my phone and then I slipped and I fixed this phone screen two months ago and it's already broken again. I don't know what's happening but we're standing in the middle of the street and then when I come over here there's loads of static electricity. <laughs> has, has my hair gone up? Oh, I don't want my camera to break. Like everyone's hair's going up. I just stand here and there's loads. Has my hair gone up? What's going on? I thought I was having a heart attack or something. But I was just walking along and my head felt really weird. That like everyone's hair's sticking up. That like woman's hair's going right up. This is so weird, it's just a street corner. I don't know if it's to do with that up there or like something underground, but it's just everyone's hair sticking up. I can look at this, guys. We've been walking for like ages and we've come into a Lawson's to get a snack. There's these things I really like in here. Have they got any? Oh, cool. It's like a bean triangle wrap. They're so tasty. We finally made it to Shibuya. We've been walking for like an hour and a half. Um, we're gonna go, what are we doing here? Oh, we're gonna go shopping. Yeah, we're take, shopping. We're taking you to the 100 yen store, because I've been saying it for ages in all the past vlogs. And that massive um, store. And the massive store, yeah. So we're gonna go to a really cheap shop to buy our really cheap souvenirs for people. Uh, I really like this area. Yeah. I didn't think I would, because it's so busy and just like annoying, but I actually really like it's it. It's kind of quiet at the same time. That makes no sense. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to us lately, I'm getting so tired, but we've come into um, Coco's and I've got some potato, some egg and a asparagus curry. But we're going to eat this and then we're going to do a bit of shopping. So this is like one of the best 100 yen stores we found. It's called Can Do and it, the sign looks like this. I'll show you downstairs what they sell. If it doesn't have a price, it's 108 yen, which is like 60p, one US dollar. So if I show you around. Loads of arts and crafts kind of things. But look, 100 yen for this. Toys, shoes. You have like loads of stationery wear, like it's all so, so cheap. Cute little stationery bits. Souvenirs like Gudetama, Hello Kitty. Kids toys. You can be in like touristy areas of Japan and they sell you little cups like this for like, I don't know, like a thousand yen, but here they're 100 yen each. And you can get like matching bowl sets, like look, 100 yen. You can get like pretty much anything. It's what, what would you say the store's like compared to at home? Because it's like a really a, good pound land. Like a really good pound land. Yeah. But it's half price. You just get random stuff like look, like FIFA alarms. You got like locks. I'd really recommend if you're coming here and you want to buy souvenirs, first check a few hundred yen stores out because you might save quite a lot of money. This is another like kind of pound store. This, Daiso, it's, uh, it's basically the same, a little bit more expensive, but no point showing you around, it's the same. We did our shopping way quicker than we thought we were going to. I thought we were going to be in here for hours. We've it's been here for almost. Oh, was it three o'clock? Yeah, of course. Yeah, today's been a bit of a, um, bit of a weird one. Like we were gonna, meant to be going in the palace and then we forgot our passports and I dropped my phone and broke it. We walked an hour and a half to get in here. It's been fun though. We were, um, we saw like, the bubble tea is quite expensive in Tokyo, but we saw like a cheap place. So we're gonna head there and grab a bubble tea. It's in one of those big department stores. This one behind me here is another cheap store you can go to. There's a sign. It's like a, well, I'll just show you. It's like the other stores, apart from it sells more expensive stuff, but it's still cheap. Like big bags of Kit Kats. It's almost like macros from England. The cheap bubble place we want to go to is in here as well. That doesn't look bad, does it? Cheers. It looks like a proper milk tea. I got Cheers. coconut milk tea. I just got normal milk tea. That's nice. Is it? Yeah. Good quality tapioca as well. We got a cocoa the other day, which is another bubble tea place, and it was like 1,100 for, for two. two. Yeah. And this was like 520 for two, so like half the price. I really like the big fish tanks they have outside the front of these stores. Look at them, look at me. Look at the big eels. It's massive. 
I don't feel like the eels should be in this like tiny tank, but they do look really cool. We decided to head back now because we've got a bubble tea, been walking around all day, getting a little bit fed up. This is Shibu Crossing, and a cool fact I heard the other day was it's the busiest crossing on earth. That's cool. Yeah. This, this, this is the busiest crossing on earth. We're almost back at our apartment now, but we walk past this thing every day. There's like someone's garden. Yeah. It's the kind of thing we'd see in Australia. Yeah. I think they like Disney because they've got a lot of, it looks like all handmade stuff, but it's a lot of Disney stuff. The cleaning spray bottles and they've cut out a bit. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Look, Coke bottles, giant rings. That's oh, a Coke ball slipper. Yeah. Look, Thanks. Coke, Coke cans made into like goblets. Yeah, it's cool. Right, so I don't know if you can see me very well, but we're back. Uh, we've been back for a couple hours, just got showered and Lottie's cooking dinner, so I thought I'd give you an apartment tour. We've been here a few days, but I wanted to wait till we're settled in. Um, so this is like our back door, and we've got like a little private garden area. This camera's actually on the neighbor's fence, but I'll show you inside. So this is like the living room, bedroom, lounge area. We've got a really comfy bed, which is really nice. Um, this is like a spare second bed we've got here, but I, um, I made it into a sofa. So we've got a sofa, loads of storage in there, and a nice comfy bed. We got a, quite a nice kitchen. You're on top of the microwave. Oh, it looks well weird. You're on top of a microwave and a fridge. And then we've got like a full cooking service area. And we've got two hobs and a grill. So that's really nice for cooking. I get out a lot of his way because uh, I'm oh. really annoying her. Huh? We've got a washing machine over here as well. And the front door is just that way. And then behind me, we've got like this beauty stand thing where you can do all your uh, bits. Pretty box stand toilet. I like this bit though. And then we've got a bathroom shower room with a tiny bath. It's funny, I'm six foot four and like I get in baths in England, I don't get fully submerged because they're long, but they're not very high. But I get fully submerged in the baths here because look, my knees are in my face, but the bath is so high, I completely fit under. We're staying like about an hour outside of Tokyo, but it's, it's quite nice because the further out you go, the more room you have and it's been quite annoying living in that other one because it was about the size of just the living room here. Then you've got like a better kitchen. A bit annoyed because my laptop, I broke my phone today obviously, and then my laptop is just completely dying. Like I can't edit videos anymore. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to sort that out somehow. Before I end the video, I wanna show you Japanese TV. It's really strange, they're filming about dogs and like they were doing, there's dogs like barking the times table and they're just like, look. Oh, he's putting his teeth in the bowl. What's it doing? Dude, that's pretty minging that he, that's his dentures and the dog's chewing them. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna end the video, so peace. Bye bye, thank you very much. Thank you.